Barry. You are about to expand the distillery. We are planning and certainly looking at uh, detailed planning on how we can expand Lafroy Gas. So what's your plan? Uh, well, the biggest challenge is how do we expand Lafroy and at the same time not disrupt production. Right. So we are looking at what area and space we have available to, you know, put up a new still house, uh, a new mash house. Mm -hmm. However, the one thing we will absolutely be doing is keeping uh, the floor maltings where they are. All the buildings, will st all the buildings you see today, will pretty much stay the same. Mm -hmm. That's important uh, for the Freug. We also want to in ensure that we don't reduce the uh, the amount of floor malt that's in our uh, that's in the liquid, it's in the mash bill. Mm -hmm. So we we did meet, we made some giant leaps forward actually for the last couple of decades. The mash bill has been about fourteen percent. A floor malt. Back in January, that moved up to twenty percent. We started. We brought an extra two operators in. Then we started working differently. Uh, not creating the malt differently, just a different shift pattern to allow us to make more floor malt. So with that increasing uh, up to twenty percent in the mash bill, uh, we want to ensure that carries forward. So the only way we can do that is to make more floor maltings. So we will aim, or we will plan, hopefully, mm -hmm. deliver, to, uh, uh, what's the right way to put this, basically evict the visitor centre. <laughs> uh, that was the original floor maltings back uh, before there was a visitor centre there in a museum. So we'll need to relocate that okay. uh, so that we can get the bottom two floors back and keep our uh, floor malt percentage. And do you want to double the capacity, or how is it planned? Again, okay, well, that's one that's that decision hasn't actually been confirmed mm -hmm. yet. We do want to double, yes. However, we don't know. We that's maybe not the right phrase. We're currently discussing: do we go straight to double, or mm -hmm. do we step up in phases? Yeah, and I think one of the, the greater problems with this is how to do the logistics, bringing stuff into the island. Yeah. Uh, is there anything planned in that direction? Uh, well, being a local, I totally understand the challenges we have. Uh, so, and it's important not to overload these lifeline se mm -hmm. services. But when we brought our new washbacks in, uh, I never, I've never actually mentioned that the tasting. Back, we didn't just increase the floor malt in the mash bill up to twenty percent. Mm -hmm. We also installed two new washbacks, which now allows us to be at seventy-two hour fermentation length. So that was between these two step changes earlier in the year. These, these are things we want to retain. Mm -hmm. However, when we brought the new washbacks in, uh, we brought them in by a barge. We didn't use uh, the ferry service. So I think moving forward, I don't think we're the only ones. I, I would imagine that many other, uh, not just distilleries, but construction companies in Manila will be looking and thinking, well, we don't need to rely on, on the ferry. We don't need to put extra... Uh, wait on that. We can uh, we can use our own yeah. services, especially because the ferries are a problem right now. Right? Yeah, they're, they're going through a challenging mm -hmm. time. The ferries, uh, the locals. There's, there's a bit of frustration there, uh, and I, I am I am one. I understand the frustration. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's it's a lifeline service, and when you people feel like they're not getting that service, uh, it frustrates them. And what about warehousing? Do you want to expand this as well? Yes. So you may have seen mm -hmm. the new warehouse. Uh, we'll have another two new ones coming online by the end of this year. The same size. The same size. Right. Uh, so we've we absolutely want to uh, mature at least fifty percent of Lafroy and on Isla. Okay. Have you presented the plans to the public already here? On, on yes, uh, mm -hmm. we did. We had a public consultation. Uh, with the community. Yeah. Everybody was invited to come and look at the current plan we have mm -hmm. and we had I want to say 55 visitors that day. Uh, we didn't advertise it you know, down, uh, for tourists and things. Uh, it was more about the community to see what, of course, what we were doing. 
and especially for the neighbouring village. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, we're, we're their neighbours, so it's important they see what we're thinking and talking about. So everyone came along from the village, it was great, it was really good feedback, it was really positive feedback, and there was a couple of, not concerns, a couple of questions about this and that, which we took on board and made changes to the plan mm-hmm. to, uh, basically, we got feedback, we listened to it, and uh, I think the feedback was honest and fair. And if you have to point out a date when you would begin with the changes, what <laughs> could be the... Ah, so I... So... We should be going in for planning within a matter of weeks okay. from now. Uh, should all that go through, we'll be hoping to be breaking ground next year. So, best of luck for that. Yep. And thank you for your time. No problem at all. Thank you.